Hi, I'm Christina Troutwine, Editor-in-Chief of Hotel Business. And as I do with every issue, I'm bringing you the highlights of our current issue, the April 7th edition. But this time, I'm sharing the content with you from home. As along with everyone else in our business and in this country, we're practicing social distancing to help avoid the spread of COVID-19 and to protect the health and well-being of ourselves and others. So bear with me if this is a little more primitive than the studio produced hot off the press you're used to. As like the rest of you, I'm trying to navigate the technology and the home setting. Suddenly, there are co-workers you never had before. Pets, spouse, children. But like always, we adapt to keep it business as usual in a highly unusual time. That being said, our cover story, Into the Unknown, written by senior editor Greg Wallace, delves into the pandemic's unprecedented impact on the hotel industry. We talk to industry leaders who provide insights, guidance, and advice to help get through the seemingly overwhelming challenges our industry is facing right now. Yes, there are the facts we do know, and more and more are coming out every day. But there is this big question mark that lies in front of us. When will this end? Will there be a temporary impact? Or is there something more permanent? Read our cover story to find out what the experts are saying. And on this note, make sure to check out our upcoming cover story in the April 21st issue, our management company issue, where we take a deeper dive into how management companies are weathering this health crisis. Let's take a moment to hear from publisher Alan Rolleri, who's bringing you this installment's All Access Point. Welcome to your All Access Point. I'm hotel business publisher Alan Rolleri. While COVID-19 may have us headed into the unknown, let's focus on what we do know. We know how resilient the lodging industry is. With each challenge, this industry learns, applies that knowledge, and grows to even greater heights than we thought possible. We are an industry of inventive entrepreneurs who are able to find solutions and opportunities in every situation. We are a business of fierce competitors by day and friends and colleagues around the bar at the conference reception at night. We are an industry of people serving people. All of these amazing traits are very present during this crisis. While COVID-19 has already proven devastating to the travel industry, I'm seeing so many stories of hope. Companies helping one another, our organizations like the AHLA and AHOA lobbying on our behalf, and charitable foundations being put together by and for our industry, because that's just who we are. The road ahead may be unknown and will surely be difficult, but we will get through it together. Thanks, Alan. The first all-digital hotel has opened in Fort Worth, Texas. The Sinclair, part of Marriott's autograph collection, takes technology to another level. Collaborating with Intel, the Sinclair uses IoT technology, building and in-room sensors, IoT gateways, dashboards, and restaurant sinks and appliances, all to personalize the guest stay with data-driven insight. Check it out. She has a deal, an investment pitch competition targeting female hotel owners is set to host its inaugural hotel investment masterclass furthering its mission to increase opportunities for leaders. She has a deal was created to open pathways to ownership for women through education, mentorship, and collaboration. And the new masterclass plans to hit all three points. Associate editor Abby Alyssa talks to founder Tracy Prigmore about the initiative. Brad Rahinsky, president and CEO of Hotel Equities, is our industry insider. He shares how his company is working through the pandemic, both for its employees and its clients. He also provides perspective on COVID-19's impact on the industry and the government stimulus package. It's a must read. In addition, this issue features stories on a mini bar that utilizes universal power over ethernet, solutions designed to empower single property hotels and small to mid-sized groups with CRM capabilities, and our annual brokers reporting list. Speaking of our annual lists, the April 21st issue will include our annual management company report and ranked list. See you back soon for that issue. 
In the meantime, check out the latest headlines on hotelbusiness.com, read this or past issues on togo.hotelbusiness.com, and follow us on LinkedIn, Facebook, and Twitter. From my home to yours, stay safe, stay healthy, and stay positive.